Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of No Huddle with Zach Arnd. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Cal Golden Bears, giving a preview for the upcoming 2022 college football season. Led by head coach Justin Wilcox, going into year number 6. His record at Cal is 26-28. and 28. Offensive coordinator Bill Musgrave and defensive coordinator Peter Sermon lead the way. Some key players returning for Cal. They have Brett Johnson, the defensive end. He was their best player back in 2020. In 2021, he missed a lot of last season due to injuries, but he's coming back for 2022. Safety, Daniel Scott, all Pac-12. He started all 12 games and had 82 tackles and three interceptions a season ago. Matthew Sindrick, the center. He was an all honorable mention, all Pac-12 in 2021. He played center and guard while starting 27 games in his three seasons prior to this one. Some key losses, quarterback Chase Garbers. He threw for 2,500 yards, 16 touchdowns, and 8 picks a season ago. Cameron Good, outside linebacker. 36 tackles for a loss in his career, and he had a pick 6. He had two pick 6s in his career, I should say. They have safety Elijah Hicks, all Pac-12 safety in 2021. He had 211 tackles, 5 interceptions, and 46 starts. Looking at the 2022 recruiting class, 14 commits. They signed four-star running back Jaden Ott out of California. Looking at the depth chart, on offense they returned three starters. Left tackle Ben Coleman, center Matthew Sindrick, and running back Damian Moore. Damian Moore had 500 rushing yards a season ago and six touchdowns. The offensive line, Ben Coleman and Matthew Sindrick, the returning starters. Basin Sweeney, Brian Discroll, and Braden Rome are probably going to fill in the spots there. Kaliki Latu and Jermaine Terry fell out the tight end room. Quarterback battle. You have senior Jack Plummer fighting for that spot. And then Kai Milner, a true freshman, also battling. Wide receiver room. A lot of new faces in terms of starting and getting a lot of playing time. Jeremiah Hunter. J. Michael Sturdivant. Mavin Anderson. Monroe Young. Justin Richard Baker and Mason Starling. On the defensive side of the ball, they have defensive end Brett Johnson and Ethan Saunders coming off the edge. They have Ricky Correa and Jaden Roberts in the inside. Linebacker group, Braxton Crosha, Jackson Sermon, Femio Oladejo, apologize if I said that wrong, Oren Patu, and then returning from last year, they have Muelu Losifa, junior linebacker. At corner, Colin Gamble is returning. Lumagia Hearns, sophomore corner. Daniel Scott, the senior. As I mentioned, he was all Pac-12 a season ago, one of the better safeties in the in the country, not just a Pac-12. Craig Woodson, he's a junior. He's coming back. Looking at some stats from last year. Cal ranked 51st in offensive efficiency. Defensive efficiency was ranked 76th. Explosive plays generated, they were ranked 59th and then 45th in avoiding explosive plays being allowed. Finishing drives, they were 102nd on offense. And then on the flip side, they were 34th in defense. Turnover margin, they were one of the best in the country. They were plus 10, which is good for 11th. Per game, they, allowed, they scored 23 and allowed 22 points per game. Rushing yards per game, they averaged 164, which is good for 61st. And they only allowed 130 rushing yards per game, which is good for 40th in the country. Those stats were good for a 5-7 and seven record in 2021, 4-5 and five in the Pac-12. They finished their year off with a win against USC. So that was a good note to end on. Then I'm looking ahead to 2022. They started out against UC Davis and UNLV. I think they win both of those games starting out 2-0. They take a trip to South Bend to play Notre Dame. I think they'll lose there. Then bounce back with a win at home against Arizona. At Washington State, always a tough place to play. I have Cal losing that one. At Colorado, that should be a win. Colorado is probably going to be the worst Pac-12 team in 2022. They're near the bottom almost every year, especially this upcoming season. Washington and Oregon, two losses right there at home. At USC, 
I think Cal's going to lose that one as well. At Oregon State, also a loss up in Corvallis. I think they bounce back with a win against Stanford to get win number five on the season. And I have them finishing the year with a loss against Chip Kelly and the UCLA Bruins at home, putting them at 5-7, and seven, and Justin Wilcox's sixth season with the Cal Golden Bears in 2022. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you all have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.